this is part two on me uh, doing my makeup. So I'm just still blending it in very much. So, as you can see, that my face now has no more blemishes and it is tan. Enough. It just looks like that in the light because obviously I'm in the light. Okay, my back hurts. But yeah, BTW, you want to put your hair up in a ponytail or a bun or something. That way to keep your hair out your face. But yeah. So then next, what you are basically going to do for the eyeshadow is... is take and yeah the reason you don't hear my little brothers is because they are in I'm in the middle room what my makeup is it's because I'm in the middle room and they're not with me well basically I'm not where they are so I have two colors that light brown and this brown well I'm going to use the lightest brown because, um, I'm really light. Like, and I just like, I think it looks better because how I put on my foundation, it's a little bit darker than this. So, yeah someone an eyeshadow brush then you're gonna put this on your lid not your like to here maybe and I'm gonna do this in the mirror because I can help see As you can see, that it's a little bit on that eye. Um, it doesn't really look like it, but it will after I finish with this tutorial. OMG, I hate my computer. So. If you're wondering where my friend is, um, she had to go home and take a bath. She lives like up the street from me. Her mom's always so cute about baths and okay? crap. I've already took my bath. Yeah, and my friend, she busted um, the light pink, which is on my toes. She busted that nail polish. I was really mad. Super mad. 
because that isn't like the only pink I like in the package. So I have it on. I really don't know if you can tell that much, but I mean, it's a big difference. It makes it so much lighter. So now I am going to take my darker color and put this over top of what I just did. Maybe like a tad higher into the crease. Like this. Like this. Like that. As you can see, that makes a difference. Which is really pretty. It just to make your like eyelid darker than what it really is and with all these different colors mixing them together it makes it such a good pretty color. If you want to know what I'm using for this dark color, it's Clinique. Cl Cl I really don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. So it's not showing. Yeah, and this one is K27. Sunkissed, that's the name of it, and K27 is a brand, or the number, the color of it. Okay. take again the lighter color and you're like probably like why is she doing this well you'll see after and you're just gonna put that on your brush at least try to get it on your brush okay and then you take put it like this just dab it on that light brown. Don't worry about that. That was just a poster. Okay. Then you can close that up. Okay. So here it is. The final touch. No, of the eyeshadow, of that part, blending all that crap in. Now, is the part, which is the funnest. You are going to take a white and a black eyeshadow. White and a black. And if you're wondering, this is New York Colors. 
814 need um yeah just so if you're wondering oh my god sorry why does that stuff keep popping Okay, so you're going to take the white and put that on your eyeshadow brush. And I know it's going to be like a lot of white or light colors if you're wondering. I mean, again, once again, you're probably like, why are we doing this? Like, but you'll find out. And you're really going to put it like... And here, and then a little bit right there at the eye. So make your eye open up, look, open up more. So it's in the crease and my eyes look really white. And then you're going to put it up under. Blend that in a little bit. Get more of half to Wipe off your brush. Okay, so please watch part three. I don't know why this tutorial was like so long. Please watch part three.